Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De and today I will show you different important neonatal reflexes. So I will demonstrate each of the neonatal reflexes one by one. So see this is our baby. First I will show you glabella tap reflex. This, is, this part is glabella. If I gently tap on the glabella, the baby will close his or her eye. See, I am tapping the glabella, the baby is closing or blinking his eye. This is this is glabular tap reflex. Next is rooting reflex. What is rooting reflex? If I touch baby's angle of mouth, sorry, baby's face near the angle of mouth, the baby will turn his mouth or uh, face toward the stimulus side to for search for nipple. This is rooting reflex. See, this is baby's head. If I touch baby's mouth like this in this area. See the baby is turning his head towards stimulus side. Exactly similarly if I st if I stimulate baby's head in this side the baby will see turning his head to the opposite side. This is rooting reflex. Next sucking reflex or sucking reflex. First I uh, first you have to wash your hand properly aseptically with proper steps, then apply some hand sanitizer, let the hand dry, then introduce one of your finger into baby's mouth. Then the baby will gently suck your finger. This is called sucking reflex. See the baby will suck. This is called sucking reflex. Next, after glabular time, routine sucking reflex, palmar gap reflex. If I press the palmar surface of baby's hand, baby will flex his fingers and grabs my fingers. This is palmar's reflex. Okay? The baby is trying to grasp my finger. See? First, usually baby's hand remain closed due to palmar gas reflex. See? The baby is grasping my finger. This is palmar grab. Similarly, if I press baby's feet then the baby will flex his fingers of foot also this is plantar gas reflex see like see the flexion of fingers see the flexion of finger baby is trying to grasp my fingers see this is plantar gas yeah, similarly see the extension when i am pressing the sole the baby is trying to flex his fingers this is Plantar grasp reflex. See the flexion of the fingers. The baby is trying to grasping my finger. This is plantar grasp. So glabular tap, rooting, then sucking, then plantar grasp, then on the sole, exactly same plantar grasp reflex. Then one of the important morose reflex. How to elicit morose reflex? For elicitation of morose reflex, first of all, you have to raise the baby in semi upright position in examiner hand, like this. Baby's hand should be flexed on examiner hand in semi upright position. Then what you have to done? Then you have to drop the head 50 to 30 degree gent suddenly and you have to support the followed by you have to support the whole body and head. This is called morose reflex. And what will be the findings? On suddenly dropping the head, there will be first abduction. At extension of the limbs, upper limbs, followed by upper and lower limbs, followed by adduction and flexion. See, this is upright position, I am dropping the baby. See, the abduction, adduction, followed by adduction and flexion. Again, first semi upright position, then drop in 13 to 14 degree. First, there will be abduction and adduction, then there will be followed by adduction and flexion. First, abduction. Then abduction and extension followed by adduction and flexion. This is called morose reflex. So glabular tap, rooting, sucking, pamal gas, plantar gas, and morose reflex. And what are the other reflex? This is very normal position. When I will turn baby's head toward one side, the baby will extend his or her limb to the turning side. And the opposite side, the baby will flex his or her limbs. This is called Suppose whenever I am going to turn baby's head on the right side, the baby will extend this side. See, and there is flexion of this side. This is called this is called 
asymmetric tonic reflexion. Whenever I am turning the this side on this side, there is extension of this side. We see the flexion of this side. This is asymmetric tonic neck reflex. And what are the other reflex like stepping and placing? First, elicitating stepping reflex. First, you have to hold the baby with axilla and head. Okay, then you have to touch baby's dorsum and on the corner of the table and dorsum, the baby will step up his step up his feet. This is stepping reflex. And from placing reflex, exactly you have to hold the baby like this and you have to touch baby's soul on the edge of the table. What will be the step? And you have to bend the baby slightly. First, hold the baby like this with axilla then touch the baby's soul, then slightly bend forward and the baby will try to walk. The baby will react in a fashion, seems like the baby is trying to walk. This is called stepping reflex. So placing reflex, stepping reflex, glabular tap, then rooting, sucking, plantar gloves, plumber graft reflex, morose reflex. Another one is tongue incarnation reflex. In for tongue, elicitation of tongue incarnation reflex first, you have to place the baby in prone position like this. Then gently touch the side lateral lateral to this midline or vertebral column. The baby will gently curve his back. This is called trunk incarnation. See the straight vertebral column. The, now I will touch the this part. See the baby is curving his back. This is called trunk incarnation. See again. This is the position, now I am gently touching, the baby is curving or lifting his back. This is called trunk incarnation reflexes. So these are all reflexes, important neonatal reflexes and this is all how to elicit neonatal reflexes. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel Dr. Shankar. Thank you everyone.